the ranking my Instagram love languages. And fifth, we have a follow. Now, I'll never complain about somebody following me. I feel like a follow is baby steps. Like, you're on my radar. I might stalk you a little bit after you follow me, but I'm gonna need you to do a little bit more if you want me to then slide into your DMs or something. Step up from that is then a story like. Now it's getting a little bit flirty. I feel like a story like is maybe the equivalent of somebody sending you like a messenger pigeon back in the olden days saying, hi, I'm Keen. You know what I mean? Especially on like a cute gym selfie or something. You get the little like, ooh, I have some butterflies. Okay. But a story like is not gonna do as much for me as number three, a story swipe. Now we're talking. Literally. Bonus points if you swipe up with like a cute comment or a conversation starter, because who does not love a witty conversation back and forth? Having good banta, which is British for saying you can have a conversation with somebody, is always a green flag. But even still, that gets topped by number two, which is a post comment. Now we're going public. Like, this is our launch, you know what I mean? Let's get married already or something. But if we're gonna leave a public comment, we have to be demure with it, okay? We have to be mindful. This is on my feed for my friends and family to see, okay? Let's keep it, let's keep it classy. Nothing will top my number one IG love language, which is sending me reels. Sending each other quality content back and forth that's both relatable to our conversation and our sense of humor, like, mwah. gives me insight into your personality, which at the end of the day is like the biggest deal breaker. What do you think is funny? What do you think I think is funny? So it makes me feel so good when you send somebody something and they actually watch the whole thing from start to finish. Like, come on.